Hello bead friends. This is Jess. How's it going? Welcome back to my channel here on YouTube. Today we're going to be checking out the Autumn Woods Box. Magical Mystery Bead Box from Jesse James Beads. This is for August 2021 and it is Autumn Woods. And it is such a cute fall theme. Beautiful box. And they don't have a traditional list on the back. It's kind of like this pictogram, which is super cute. Um, I'm all about the pumpkin spice for fall. And even though it is the August box, um, which definitely is the summer month to me, they always ship their boxes um, at the end of the month. So by the time you get it, it's September, which is definitely the start of fall. So super cute. Um, there was this really cute bead mix, or um, all these leaf charm mix. Really cute and fun. We got some wooden ones and like these fun um, acrylic leaves with this really cool kind of funky leaf shape. Um, and this one right here is really cool. Um, definitely thinking a necklace with that one. And these are really cute pair of earrings. I think I'm going to um, patina paint on those. Um, this is a really cool stone pendant, um, which it doesn't say what kind of stone. It just says stone pendant. So um, interesting, but it's really pretty. So we've got the mold cider, which is like the Copper, um, yellow, golden tones. Um, we got this beautiful red one, red cap mushroom, um, with this really pretty little mushroom uh, charm. And then this one right here really caught my eye. I like this one, moss and fern. It's got the greens, and it's got some cool funky wooden beads in there and the ceramic. Uh, I'm gonna open this one up, and then. Um, pumpkin spice uh, seed bead mix which is really pretty I really like this one here it's like a um, I'm kind of in love with this coral color right now it's super pretty it's got gold coral and then kind of a brownish and then like a matte yellow um, which is also really pretty Um, and then of course we got some beautiful sparkle bead strands, um, super pretty, got some like wooden spacers in there and some different elements and these little owls are so cute. I love the owls and I love these crystals right here. Um, and of course this one, really pretty. Um, so I'm going to be making a pair of earrings, I think, with these little owls. I just, as soon as I saw them, I thought, oh, I want a pair of earrings. Those, those need to be on some earrings. Okay. So, and you know, a matching necklace too. But I'm going to open this one up and take a look at this one. All these cool leaves out of the way moss and fern so right off the bat we have these like really pretty kind of champagne color crystals those are so pretty I'm thinking one of those with the owl. And look at these matte green. Those are like so pretty. I like those. And then we got the darker green and there's like little acorns in here. So cute for fall. And a little itty bitty 
squirrel. So cute. Okay, so I cut apart my bead strand. So I'm loving these beads here. But I also love these. So I'm not sure which one I want to use for my owl earrings. Those or these. Hmm. And then I think I'm going to use some of these coral colored seed beads. I think they would go well with either one of these. This one matches really well. This is more of a contrast. So I think I will use these. Okay, so these cute little owls, the hole is side to side. It's not top to bottom. So it's gonna take a little bit of a different technique to get them to stay. So I was thinking you could put them on some leather. That might be fun. Like um, some brown leather, of course. That's just great with this theme. Let's see if it would fit. Oh, I don't know if it'll fit. This is um. Uh, one millimeter brown leather cord USA leather. Mm. Nope, I don't think it's gonna fit. Oh, wait, just barely. So that's an idea. Um, you can make a you make a loop with your leather, and then. Um, what I've done before is just take some matching brown wire and you wrap it around the top and there you have a leather hoop earring. Super lightweight. So that's one idea for these. Is he going to spin around? He's, the leather prints pretty snug in there too, so he may not move around. So that's an idea. Um, let's see. So I was thinking this is antique copper wire, even though my owl is the antique bronze. I think I'm going to use some of this. This is a brand new pack of wire here and open this up so I had the antique bronze but I did not have antique copper and I was like I gotta get some it's like such a pretty color for fall all right let's cut this little tip off Good piece of wire there. Okay, so I was thinking just to stick it in the wire and then wrapping it like you would um, a brulette, brulette bead, where you bring your wires to the top like this and then try to get it snug on there so that little owl is not going to move around oh yeah it's like his little perch he's not well he twists around a little bit doesn't he hmm 
Hmm. I think if we get it nice and snug though. So this is how I wrap a briolette bead. Let's see, scoot some of this out of the way. Maybe so you can see. Just fit right snug on there and then he's not gonna turn around. So he'll be facing forward so we can see him. And then you take one wire and bend it up at a 90 degrees and then you bend one like that. And then you hold it in place. See, I was thinking even you could put seed beads on the wire coming out, but I think I'm gonna make the seed beads on the wire coming down. So just take it, wrap it around, just like that. Hmm. And then, oh, I think I need a longer piece of wire. Okay, let's try this again. Let's start with a longer piece of wire because I wanna try making a little loop with seed beads underneath the owl. Okay, longer piece of wire. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna stick the owl on the wire. Let's see. We only need about this much at the top. I'm gonna bend it up. Crisscross it right at the top. Center him on there. So it's touching his little, his little eyebrow. Crisscross. So we want this wire coming up the top. Kind of at a weird angle. Okay, let's see. Make a 90 degree bend there. And then this one, let's make a little crease there. And then just wrap it around. Just one time. Okay, straighten this wire back out. Whoa. Okay, why is he spinning around? Come on, stay in your perch. Stay in your perch, little owl. Hmm, he was staying before. Now he's wanting to twist around on me. A total experiment here. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna try this. I'm gonna open up my seed beads here. Okay, so I opened my seed beads. I got the coral color. So I'm just gonna start putting the seed beads on the wire. So we have three of the coral and then I was thinking we'll do a little pattern. 
and put one of the darker copper color. So one, two, three, and then one of the darker color. So there's our little pattern. Okay, so I have all my CVs on my wire. And then you just want to kind of slowly wrap that wire around the owl. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's about right. Or maybe, actually, we need three more of the coral. I don't want to end on the copper bead. There we go. So I just want to kind of slowly work it into that kind of ovally shape. I'm gonna fit right around that owl. Just like that. And then you can take your wire and wrap it around the base. wires. Let's see, smash it all the way down. Hold it in place. And then wrap around. What do you think? That's cute. We made a little perch for our owl. He's got like a little sea bead home around him, his little enclosure, his little protection. He's a he's a protected owl, you know. That's cute. And I like it. Come on, keep your ears tucked in that wire. Okay, keep your ears tucked in so you stay facing forward. We want to see your cute little face. So, yeah, I don't know. It was an idea. I think it's pretty cute. I totally messed up my pattern right here. You see that? I only have two of the coral right here in this section. <laughs> That's funny. Goofball. Okay. And you could even like keep going with this if you wanted. If you had a, a longer wire to start with, you could make another um, loop with another color and then make another loop with another color of seed beads. And the idea was for his little ears to stay tucked into that inner wire. So he faces forward. I like it. That's so cute. So we'll turn that off. And then let's see, this little bead, sparkle crystal, will go on the top like that.
That's so cute. Let's see, maybe a little spacer up here. Oh yeah, that's cute. Hmm, let's see. How about a little pop of gold on there too? I really like that. Mm, no, no gold. Just the antique copper. That's so cute. This would look cool as a like a pendant too. I think another crystal on top, or maybe. Oh, here we go. This little coral colored bead. That's cute. That matches the seed beads. I don't have a smaller bead cap. Maybe this one. Oh, that's cute. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. Hmm. Yep. I think with it. Super cute. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this earring idea. I will finish up the pair finish my final design and decide if I want to dangle something from the bottom of the seed bead loop or not. Um, but I kind of like it just like that. It's really cute. Kind of showcase that beautiful owl. And I got the sparkly crystal. And I do like that coral bead on top, matches the seed beads. Anyway, I'll finish it up and I'll make the second one. I'll post a picture of it at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little technique. Hope I inspired you. Um, go to jessiedamespeeds.com to check out this beautiful Autumn Woods um, Magical Mystery Bead Box. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.